the trailer belt here at Creekside Maples. The wind is blowing 90 to nothing. You'll hear it on this uh, video. There's nothing we can do about it. We got too much work to do to stay in the house because the wind's blowing. I'm building this little lawn garden uh, trailer. Uh, it'll be 48. Um, the box itself will be 48 by 44. And we'll hook it behind the tractor, the mower, four wheeler, whatever. We've needed one for quite a while. So I started this project. I put the axle together oh last year sometime and never finished it so we're really going to need it for the garden this year and the, once we get the pigs and the goats and everything we're going to use it for hauling feed down to them and hay and everything else so it's time to get it finished that's what we're doing thanks for being with us day two trailer build you want to stay watch see what happens All right, so all I'm doing here is putting these cross pieces on. They'll go on here, and then this will come over here. Then I'll weld that one on over there. It's a beautiful day. Sun is shining nice. And I'm putting one, two, three cross members here. And then we're going to put boards in there for the base. But I just got to figure out exactly how I'm going to do that. That's the thing. I'm using an old bed frame to build this out of. Bed frame's great metal. It's, it's really strong. I've built a lot of stuff out of bed frame. The only thing is it's all angle. So, I think probably the best bet is try to put that piece on there. And if I bend this in a 45, then this will go on here and then wrap around. And that ensures the integrity of the corners, keeps it safe, strong, or I mean, salt, solid. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, it just works. It'll ensure the integrity of the corner that is nice and tight and secure. So we'll take some measurements. Let's see where we're at. This should be 48. Yep. And this has got to be 48. So she got to go part a little bit. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man? So that's where that's got to go. That'll work right there. I'm just putting brackets so that uh, I want to drill them. And I will put pins straight through and then I will drill here and the same thing on the other side 
than this. If I don't break everything. It goes down on here. The brackets go on there. Like so. And uh That's how that works. And then once the pins are through here, they go underneath here. What happens is then this becomes a dump trail. Just like that. See? So but I have to get the pins in there first so this keeps them in there. And uh then they come down, I'll just catch here, catches a, I'll put a lip right here. That'll catch under this. So that way you can sit on the four-wheeler, the mower, put a rope here, take it up to where you're sitting, pull this, it'll dump. Um, the weight of this will bring it back and be balanced. So yep. Number one thing is some hot here today. Now we got to drill it. Should have drilled those uh, pieces before I put them on. That would have been ideal. But, to be quite honest, it's just one of those days where it's so hot and humid, I just forgot. <laughs> but that's okay. It's got lots of drills. So we'll drill right through here and right through there. This is such a great drill. It's a Makita. It's a really heavy duty drill. I bought this for 10 bucks at a tool sale. <laughs> so this is where we're starting. This is where we'll end up. Let's see if we can make this work. It may not work. It may have put a plan B. Now you see why. I should have drilled them before. Gotta get the uh, smaller bit for pilot hole first. Good enough, I had to. Let me go. That's why bed frame is good to build with, because you can't hardly drill it. It's so tempered. It's just so so strong. <laughs> old-fashioned way. <laughs> what I did there sometimes it's really hard tempered steel you can't hardly do it so if you take your welder your stick welder and you turn it up really high 
you can actually turn the stick into a plasma cutter. And so you just take it and you, once you start melting that through, you just push that stick right through that hole where the, where the soft uh, metal is and it'll blow a hole right up through. And you can do that, like for instance, I just did two holes there, real quick, real easy, done the other one over there. Um, and it makes it, it's just really simple to get through really tough steel. So it's a little tip there. Um, if you ever need to use it, that'll help you. There we go. And there we go. If you're just learning to weld, stick welder, two things I learned. Instead of having that weight like that, bend it down a little bit. Take this, take the weight of it on your arm, the cord, and then you're free to weld. So now the fun, I gotta put this back on there, we're gonna mark it, and uh, then we'll figure out exactly where everything's gonna go. Get our welder here, and we'll just burn these right through, like we did the other ones. We've got this much done, so now, as you see, we put a dump on it, so you can dump things off. What I'm doing right now, there's a catch right here, a handle, so I'm going to make a little lip and weld it on there, and when it comes down, it'll catch, but I've got to cut just a little bit off of it to allow for uh, enough room for it to go under there. So that's what I'm doing right now, I'm going to take this and put it on the vise. It's too small to cut on my saw there, so I'll just cut it on in, in the vise. I don't know if you can see this or not. That's what that is. Just like that. So we'll weld that right there. Back here on the back, I'll put a uh, spot where I can just slide the tailgate in, pull the tailgate up, and it'll be fine. I like it and it's a lot stronger than what you'll buy in the store <laughs> and I've got no money into this well these tires um, were 10 bucks a piece and that's it all the rest is bed frame that I just picked up out of junk this has been a good old welder I'm out of wire for my wire welder so I've just been using this it works
she locks. Okay. She can't come up. Want to dump it? Pull this. Away she goes. Just like that. She dumps. Just like that. Isn't that nice? And you want to lock her? There you go. There'll be a rope here. Just pull her. Voila, as they say. I like it. I tell you, when you build one of these, and you're cutting everything, fitting everything, grinding everything, welding everything, plus interruptions, it takes a good while to get it done. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? That's a nice trailer right there. It's going to work good. That. And yes, I know my center is a little forward because I wanted it so that this, once I pull this, this almost dumps by itself. And there is the bed frame lawn trailer. <laughs> we'll paint it up. I'm going to paint it orange, Kubota orange, to match the Kubota. the bill in this little trailer it's been a two or three day project um, of course we had interruptions a lot of other stuff and the weather hasn't cooperated It's raining out now but I just wanted to kind of walk around a little bit and show you what we got done so far obviously we got the welded body all in there and I'll show you that how it dumps here in a minute um, I just took some of these uh, pine boards that we milled out uh, with the uh, bandsaw mill and I don't know if you can see them or not but uh, right here you can see that's how I've done the base and that makes it good and solid what I did to keep these boards the floor in was once I laid them inside my framework I just took some angle iron actually it's old bed frame I just weld spot welded it right onto the existing frame that way the boards the ends are covered and they can't bounce up they'll stay in place um, tailgate I'm gonna put a couple boards on here just like the rest of it then I'll put a couple handles and we'll be able to lift the tailgate right out so that we can dump stuff off but overall looks good that's going to be a really good uh, little wagon to haul behind the mower or the four-wheeler or whatever and it's big enough I made it big enough because I wanted to be able to put a bale of hay in here um, without having it hanging over the sides or anything like that so um, that's why it's built a little larger but overall it's great and let me see if I can show you this without losing all my tools what I really like is that I can dump it pick up these screws okay and around here if you look this little lever here it's just a little spring loaded lever and I'll weld it a little lip here and I'll put a rope there I'll feed it up through here put an eyelet here or something so that I never have to get off if I want to um, dump it you just pull it just like that and then it dumps just like that and I made it so it'll completely dump right up pretty cool so that's how we did it this is the frame I built here and uh, the only thing I bought here was I bought those tires. That was it. The rest of it is all built out of stuff I had here. 42 and a quarter. That's that. So what we're doing here, so I can pull the tailgate up, I'm just going to take a couple of these out and uh, yeah it will leave a couple small holes holes on the tailgate but it isn't going to be enough for anything to fall out of it so we'll just do it this way it's quick and easy Just like that. 
And then I just reach in there to pull the tailgate up. Pretty cool, eh? That way you don't need to go buy handles and hardware and all that other stuff. This here works perfect. We don't want it to fit really tight. We want to be able to pull it up. So that looks good there. There's the tailgate. It's, it's pretty tight right now because it hasn't been moved in and out much there. But that works good. Then just put it back down in. And there's that. Perfectly good trailer. Haven't got hardly any money in it at all. I paid about 20 bucks for the tires. And that's it. Everything else I had here. We milled the wood from logs we had here. I had all the old bed frame metal. All of that's been here. It's a great way to build a trailer and it will be so useful for everything we're gonna do. Food to the pigs once the pigs get down in the pig pasture and we'll move hay around with it and food and feed and stuff for the chickens and all the animals. Plus when we get picking the garden, uh, harvesting produce from the garden, we can put it right in there and haul it right out to the market garden. So it's just really made things so much easier. Uh, really haven't had a good lawn trailer until now. Uh, super excited about it. Got any comments, questions? Go ahead, ask them or leave them down in the comments section. No, I do not have any plans drawn out for this. This was all in my head. Um, this is how I did it. So, but you know, I do know how I did it and uh, I can, you know, give you instructions that way. A good dump trailer. There you go. Not a bad project here in the rain. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it so much. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Thank you for always, uh, you know, supporting us. Don't forget, hit that subscribe. Leave a comment, would you please, and hit the like button, that notification bell, ring it as well. And we will see you right back here on the next video.